president. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Honorable Ministers, Representatives of Development Partners, Senior Government Officers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to be here with you all today. We are in an unprecedented time in the history of our nation a time when global economies have been battered by a coronavirus pandemic. One of the significant impacts of the pandemic on economies was loss of jobs and opportunities, with the International Labour Organization estimating the equivalent of an unprecedented 255 million jobs being lost around the world as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. On Tuesday, 22nd June 2021, I set up the National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategies Steering Committee to coordinate our work to fulfill my promise to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years. This is building on the positive results from the economic recovery and growth plan and the targeted response to the effects of the coronavirus pandemic with the economic sustainability plan. These efforts have yielded results with Nigeria recording its biggest economic growth in six years with a GDP growth of 5% in the second quarter of 2021. The sectors that drove this growth are trade, communications and manufacturing, transportation, electricity and agriculture. Each of these sectors showed significant improvement and this created more jobs for our populace. An important part of our policies and strategies is the focus on employment and creating opportunities for our people. When this government was elected in 2015, we committed to increasing job opportunities for Nigerians and as part of our social investment program, we recruited 500,000 graduates into our NPOWER program. In 2019, I directed that the number be increased to 1 million. These graduates are recruited to work in agricultural, health, and education institutions across the country. The NPOWER program also has a non-graduate component that provides skills to tens of thousands of Nigerians in areas such as technology, masonry, auto repair, and carpentry. We estimate that about 2 million people join our labor force annually. We continue to work with our partners to provide more opportunities to create jobs. And Nigeria Jubilee Fellows Program in partnership with the United Nations Development Program being one of such opportunities. To create more opportunities for our young population, we have to provide avenues for them to gain relevant work experience. The Jubilee program will provide a pathway for young Nigerians to gain work experience in top tier organizations, gaining relevant skills and building the right networks for the future in various sectors, including information and communication technology, financial services, trade, manufacturing, agriculture, 
and agro processing. Other sectors include mining, telecommunications, creative industries and technology, education, health, research and development, and public sector institutions. We believe that building the right skills and experiences across these sectors are important to sustain the economic growth we are experiencing. The program will build on other efforts of the government to support young Nigerians, such as the 75 billion youth fund in the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, which was created in support to support young Nigerians in business or with business ideas. The program has kicked off and will run for three years with 25 billion released annually. The economic sustainability plan, which was our response to the coronavirus pandemic. We have set up a survival fund, which has helped many businesses stay afloat in the worst economic periods of the last five years. More than 1 million Nigerians have benefited from the fund, with more than 500,000 benefiting from the micro, small, and medium enterprises payroll support track, approximately 270,000 beneficiaries of the arts and support track, and about 50,000 beneficiaries of the micro, small, 50,000 beneficiaries of the micro, small, and medium enterprises grant scheme. The economic sustainability plan also has a solar power component that will employ tens of thousands of Nigerians and ensure that they keep the lights on in their communities to support other activities within these communities. The agricultural, housing, and digital economy projects under the economic sustainability plan are also creating opportunities across many sectors, across many se se sectors under the economic sustainability plan for Nigerians creating jobs, supporting livelihood, and providing skills across sectors. The Nigerian Jubilee Fellow Program being a fully paid post NYSC work placement program for Nigerians will provide an opportunity for mentors who are already engaged in various industries and have gained relevant experience and build capacity over the years to provide mentorship and support for the younger Nigerians that will be on the program. Beyond the skills and work experience, we will be building a new culture of mentorship and guidance that can chart our new course for skills development and work experience in our country. We believe that as this program creates new opportunities for 20,000 recent graduates annually, the beneficiaries will maximize the opportunities presented to them and maximize their 12 months of engagement on the program. I will encourage all eligible Nigerians to apply for this program. I also urge private sector organizations in Nigeria to join us on this program to provide work placement opportunities, mentors, and funding to support the program. I would like to say thank you to the United Nations Development Program and the European Union for their support on this vital initiative. And I hereby declare the program open. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
shall we rise for the national anthem, please? One, two, go. Arise, O, on the throne. 